We know he was on the radar. We know there had been contact between him and the security services. Those who worked with him say he was paranoid. In 2010, Michael Adebalajo was in court in Kenya. He was accused of trying to meet up with Al-Shabaab militants in Somalia. Sometime later, back in London, he turned to a human rights group called Cage Prisoners. He was looking for help and was given a caseworker. What he said to me was that uh, this, this person seemed to be, he's never seen anybody in all of the cases that we've come across behave as erratically as, as he had been. Um, him and his family, he has to say, including uh, very close relatives. And those relatives were put in a state of constant um, paranoia is the word that he uses uh, from visitations which had links to things that happened abroad. Mozambique was himself held for two years at Guantanamo Bay but never charged. His group's early case notes on Michael Adebalajo claim that contact with the security services ended in 2012 with a message that read, we have no option but to proceed without you. The only way to stop the radicalization of people like Mr. Adebalajo is to turn off all the television screens and turn off all the radios and close all the newspapers and close down the entire internet. That way they won't get any news of what's happening in the world. Ten people have now been arrested in connection with the murder. Four have been bailed on suspicion of conspiracy to murder. Two women have been released without charge. One man who was arrested yesterday is still in police custody and another is now being held. And the two men arrested at the scene are still in hospital, waiting to be questioned. Well, the ideal situation is that these people are released from, uh, from the hospital, released back into police custody, whether they'll go, go to a police station, whether they'll be interviewed in, in, in a proper police uh, detention room. Uh, it may well be that these, these guys may be in hospital for some time, in which case the officers will be keen to do it as soon as possible. The latest demonstration saw thousands converge on Westminster. The English Defence League on one side, unite against fascism on the other. In Woolwich, the shrine to drummer Lee Rigby grows bigger. His murder has stirred many emotions, but the sadness people feel is now spelt out in the clearest terms.